Welcome to another edition of Engineering Influence, a podcast by the American Council of Engineering Companies. Today, we're very pleased to be joined by Pat Fayan. He is the uh, president of the ACEC Life Health Trust, and I uh, wanted to bring him on to talk about a couple of things, especially um, now in our uh, current COVID-19 environment. Um, and also, we haven't really had the, the trust on since our last in-person meeting in Chicago, it was a great opportunity to kind of reintroduce the trust for those who weren't at the conference or, or didn't hear that episode. So, Pat, welcome to the show first, and uh, tell us a little bit about the Life Health Trust. Well, thank you, Jeff, and thank you for having me. Uh, I want to start with uh, recognizing that uh, on May 1st, the Life Health Trust celebrated 55 years of supporting ACEC member firms. Honored, privileged to... to um, you know, continue that uh, role. We have a uh, clearly stated mission uh, to provide healthcare benefit solutions and services to support the business objectives of ACC member firms and the health and well-being of the firm's employees and, and their families. We um, are really excited about the opportunity to recognize the loyalty that's been demonstrated over the years um, from our, our um, member firms and customers. And <clears throat> I guess the combination of uh, the fact that we, we've got a singular purpose, and that's to bring value to ACC member firms. Uh, mission statement uh, I shared uh, will do that to support their business objectives. And then finally, in light of the COVID-19 challenges uh, to our industry and the country, uh, the Life Health Trust Board of Trustees have approved a loyalty credit totaling $11 million that uh, we will give back in the form of a reduction of August premium invoice. That's a, that's, that's a big number, $11 million. And that's that's yes, big sir. news, um, especially for firms today who are you know undergoing uh, a cash crunch and are doing their best to uh, minimize expenses and to recoup as many uh, costs as possible to uh, keep their businesses afloat. That that's really good news. What kind of an impact is that going to have on on firms, especially the the firms that uh, really make up the, the majority of of the trust membership? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, <clears throat> The average credit will be right around $8,000, but, uh, and there is a range, fairly wide range, uh, depending or based on how long the firm has been with the Life Health Trust. So by way of example, a firm with 25 employees would receive up to a $10,000 credit. Uh, a firm with 75 employees you know, up to thirty-five thousand dollar credit, and then our larger firms, around one hundred and fifty employees, uh, could receive a credit of as much as seventy thousand dollars. Yeah, so not not insignificant by any means. Um, this this credit. So I mean, that's 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 significant. As of August first, twenty twenty, the firm, all active firms, will receive the loyalty credit. Um, of course, now we're coming into um, the later part of, of May. Uh, do you have a timeline that kind of, uh, you know, the firms can take advantage of this and, and, and plan for uh, when this credit's going to, uh, to come into effect? Uh, yes, we do. It's uh, a little fluid, but uh, the um, w week of uh, the 18th of May, we will announce the um, loyalty credit on or about June 1st, we will provide the firms and their brokers and consultants the exact amount of their credit that will show up in the August invoice. And uh, I also understand that there's going to be potentially some uh, webinars and some information and in, in a website that will be uh, tied to that for uh, active uh, Life Health Trust members to be able to uh, get the information they need on that and to uh, access information online. Uh, yes, we'll be partnering with uh, ACEC 
<clears throat> doing our own um, mailings, websites, um, LinkedIn uh, announcements, webinars, uh, um, to make sure that uh, this is well communicated and, and understood and, and that we're available to uh, you know, answer any questions. Absolutely, and we'll do our part to get the information out there. Um, Really, that's 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 great news um, that this is happening. Um, I think that it shows again the benefit of uh, the trust and and why it's so popular with our members. Um, and of course, uh, you know it's it's always one of those you know things that, that that's a secret weapon within ACEC are uh, our our three trusts and uh, the Life Health Trust is definitely. Uh, one of um, the most popular um, that, that I hear about uh, from our membership. And uh, it really just is, is um, extraordinary that you're able to do this credit. Um, is, is, have, you, have you ever done I appreciate anything? that. And... Oh, no, I was just going to ask if you have, have you ever done anything like this to your knowledge in, in, in the trust history? We reduce premiums in uh, August of 2007, after uh, converting all of our membership from a previous carrier mm -hmm. to United Healthcare, uh, we um, enjoyed some significant savings because of, of moving to United Healthcare and passed that along uh, to our member firms. Uh, but that would have been, uh, I think, the only time in other time in history where. Something like this has happened. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, this is a, a um, partnership. Uh, it, it's uh, important. The loyalty to the Life Health Trust from our member firms really creates the opportunity to invest in the health and well being uh, of the firm's employees and, and families. Yeah. Uh, as you might imagine, the longer members remain on the trust, on the trust insurance plan, the greater the opportunity our value-added services uh, can have an impact on health mm -hmm. and, and thus health care costs, which, of course, we pass back yeah. those savings uh, over time uh, to, to our member firms. So the, the uh, that was the um, thought and the basis for a, uh, a loyalty credit and uh, we've got many, many firms that, that have been with us uh, a long time, and, and uh, they're the ones that will be at the higher end of, of the range yeah. of um, credits. Yeah, and what's uh, you do have firms that have been with you for a very long time. I mean, what's the average uh, term that uh, you know a smaller mid-range uh, engineering firm has been with the trust? Well, we lost track of, of uh, when many of, of the uh, smaller, most loyal firms started when we converted to United Healthcare, mm -hmm. and, and that was what, 13 years ago. Yeah. So our records go back 13, uh, and but there's firms that have been with us 30 and, and yeah. 40 years. Yeah, so I mean, there there are firms that that match that uh, 55 year anniversary that you're uh, probably. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So uh, let's take a look at a broader view of this because, you know, healthcare costs, of course, you know, we are in a medical uh, healthcare pandemic right now. What are um, the other national, the large national healthcare insurers doing? Uh, what are, what are some examples of, of what you've been seeing in the marketplace in response to, uh, to COVID-19? Well, uh, United Healthcare announced earlier this week that they are providing $1.5 billion in, in support um, to all of their customers nationwide. <clears throat> now, it takes on many forms like uh, waiving of co-pays, um, not increasing uh, premiums. The, the um, component of their plan that's most similar to ours is a uh, 5 to 20 percent uh, reduction in employer um, premiums to be reflected in the, their July invoice. Mm -hmm. uh, but they've got a lot of programs and services and resources that, that uh, they're extending. 
uh, in waiving costs. Uh, you know, yeah, that they have incurred uh, fewer costs uh, as, as of late because of the um, deferral of, of services. Mm -hmm. No one is. Uh, there's a significant reduction in elective procedures. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we we have not seen that yet. Um, if in fact that's the case, uh, when we get another couple of months down the road, you know, then we'll uh, consider um, you know an, an additional uh, return or reduction of premium to our member firms. Again, we're we're here to provide value yeah. to the member firm, not to make a lot of money. And, and if we're overcharging, then uh, I'm sure the trustees will once again uh, honor our mission statement and support our firm's business objectives. Yeah, absolutely. Because, again, the loyalty credit that you announced today is, is, is not tied to the lower costs. It's just kind of based on the, on like you said, the, uh, the commitment to serving the members, uh, especially in this in a very troubled time. Um, so that's that's really good to know. And I know that you will be uh, – uh, taking part, I know the uh, Life Health Trust will be taking part in uh, uh, sponsoring some some upcoming education on the ACEC um, education page. We have, uh, of course, part of our larger uh, rescue, recover, rebuild effort, uh, which is ongoing right now. Uh, we have been uh, uh, we've gotten the great and uh, and and very. Uh, 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 helpful support of uh, the Life Health Trust to uh, sponsor some webinars, some informational webinars, which will be free to members. Um, and that is now up on our website at acec.org. Uh, you'll find a link to our webinar series with the R3 initiative. And uh, of course, that first webinar coming up is going to be uh, on May 21st. Uh, it's controlling health care costs through worksite wellness. Uh, with uh, Lindsay Simone, and that's going to be at 3.30, uh, 3.30 to 4.30 on uh, May 21st, and the information to uh, register for that webinar is going to be up on our website. Just go on acec.org. You'll see it right at the top of the page. Pat, um, is there anything else going on with the Life Health Trust that you want to update our members on um, at this point? Because, I mean, the loyalty credit is, of course, the biggest uh, news item uh, to, to report. But uh, anything else uh, uh, happening that you'd like to uh, to share? Yeah, maybe one thing, and that's the, um, as we know, telemedicine uh, utilization has, well, it's, it's more than doubled during um, the pandemic. Uh, we have uh, telemedicine services that, of course, provide access to physicians um, <clears throat> for general medicine uh, needs. Uh, you know, from the chest up. Um, mm -hmm. But we've added recently uh, telemedicine services for behavioral health. Okay. Uh, again, perfect timing given the uh, anxious times that, that uh, uh, we're, we're living in. And in addition, uh, dermatology and, and back care. Really? So okay. I want to continue to encourage uh, the utilization of that um, you know, during during this time when when uh, we're isolated, that's that's really good information, especially now with the um, increased access and interest in, of course, behavioral health telemedicine um, of of being yes. able to remotely meet with someone, especially now in this in this time of quarantine and 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 the different stresses and demands that are put on people for uh, remote work uh, and just just the the nature of of being locked in for so long so that that's a very important resource that that uh, people should take advantage of um yes sir it is uh it is some really good news coming out of the life health trust and uh really appreciate pat you taking time out of your day to uh update on this and again uh really just just keep tuned to um life health trust uh uh it really is www.aceclifehealthtrust.com uh for more information and uh, follow on for their, um, you know, follow them for uh, uh, updates and announcements for the loyalty credit. And uh, hopefully we will have you on um, after the loyalty credit takes effect. You can kind of give a status report on how it's going a couple months uh, down the line. We'd love to have you back on the show. 
I would welcome that opportunity. Thank you, Jeff. Well, thank you. And Pat, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, and look forward to speaking to you again. Thank you for uh, thank you for coming on. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.